drivetrain oil cools, lubricates, and protects parts and components. You can protect your drivetrain systems through some simple ways of handling its fluids. Before you get started though, check your operation and maintenance manual for proper safety procedures and always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. CAD drivetrain oil is tested beyond industry standards. It extends clutch disc life and helps improve performance for gears, bearings, and friction disc material. CAD transmission and drivetrain oil is for transmissions, wet brakes, and final drives. CAT TDTO helps to improve gear wear performance and reduce transmission slippage. It also helps control brake chatter, increases breakout force, and provides greater rim pull. CAT Final Drive and Axle Oil is available for the final drives of off-highway trucks, large dozers, pipe layers, and track skidders. Combine CAT Drive train fluids with CAT filters to help improve contamination control. Remove used filters and fluids carefully to make sure the captured contaminants do not re-enter the system. And keep new filters in their packaging until you're ready to install them. Oil life is determined by many factors, including operating conditions. Changing fluids too early could mean disposing of fluids that still have useful life. But changing fluids too late or not properly handling them can shorten component life. Determine change intervals with the help of your CAT dealer and CAT SOS Services fluid analysis results. If pressurized, use a sampling valve. If not, you'll use the vacuum extraction method. For safety, always wear proper gloves when working with fluids. And to help protect your drivetrain, follow best practices for proper fluid changes. You can reduce the chance of contamination by draining oil when it's warm. Drain dirty oil as completely as you can and follow local disposal and recycling guidelines. And when refilling the oil, be sure to follow international cleanliness standards. For more information and support, contact your CAT dealer and always check your operation and maintenance manual for specific instruction and safety procedures.